going into a into a country life uh, brought out a side of me that I uh, that I uh, didn't have a chance to explore before that. Uh, I uh, really started to spend a lot of time in the outdoors, fishing and uh, camping. I don't know, for some reason, I was always, in the end, uh, drawn to the ocean. So I started with my own fishing business. In the beginning, when I, uh, when I started fishing, I didn't have the background. I, I was a greenhorn to it, and uh, it was the butt of a lot of jokes, uh, you know, about whether I was going to make it or not. Uh, but uh, within a few years, I was uh, leading the uh, the pack most of the time because I. Uh, I was going in severe weather uh, conditions uh, way more. There were a lot of times when I was the only one on the water for longer hours. I've never felt like an outsider. Not in Quebec, not in England, not in France. I have never, I think it's very much a question of a person's personality. How well you adapt, how well you integrate is part of who you are. And some people are more open and I don't at all feel an outsider. Have never felt an outsider anywhere I've lived. Quebec is my home because my husband is at home here. And you, you create a home in an environment in which you are completely at ease. And we are at ease here, both of us. I always found things to draw from, from the years of traveling and carrying my sketchbook around. When I came around here, it was like my role in the place. You know, somebody might be uh, the guy who owns the grocery store, the hardware store, or somebody had a farm here. They had their identities in a way well, my identity was the artist. And all the kids in the school knew me as the artist. And sometimes I met somebody I didn't know, and they said, what's your name? I said, oh, Dennis Palmer. I said, oh, you're the artist. Many years ago, I was wanting to belong to somewhere. And now I don't ask that anymore. And I don't feel that urge. I say, well, here I am. There's not more I can do to belong here, other than die and put her ashes on the garden. <laughs>